You know what? Uh, my basic instinct, having covered the Lions for like 7,000 years and just sports in general, is to not overreact over one game. Uh, but I have to admit that when you couple that Lions performance Monday night against the Jets with a preseason uh, that send up uh, red flags everywhere, uh, coupled with a roster that uh, is not dotted like we all expected with Bob Quinn's draft picks thriving, it looks really, really bad for the Lions right now. I mean, like, hey, you know what? Uh, they might be uh, among the worst teams in the NFL this year, bad. So, you know, we'll see what happens moving forward. The problem is they're stuck with these guys through 2022. So if you're a Lions fan, you better knock on wood, cross your fingers, and hope it isn't that bad. But the one thing I really don't want to hear, which I think was really, really bad, is if people act like if Jim Caldwell remained the coach of the Lions, it somehow would have made them better. Jim Caldwell had his chance. Jim Caldwell had a, a primrose path created for him last year when Aaron Rodgers was hurt. The Vikings were playing their third-team quarterback, and their star rookie running back, Delvin Cook, went out. The Bears were lousy with John Fox. And the Lions had a, a schedule that was very, very easy, and they just collapsed down the stretch. The Jim Caldwell boat came and went right there. So the fact that Matt Patricia's failing right now means, well, perhaps they hired the wrong guy, but it certainly doesn't mean they should have kept the coach that had hit a wall and had failed here in Detroit, ultimately, to get them over the top. So, please, no, hey, Jim Caldwell should have remained the head coach of the Lions. No, 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 no. That's just not true.